this is the time for fawns to be born. is soon able to stand up. The sooner the better, because those long legs are needed to help it run away if danger is near. Later, this fawn is big enough to run and play with other deer. these deer. They've heard something. Something's happening. And they're off to see what it is. Ah, it's the time for the stags to fight. The winner will lead the herd and his job will be to protect his hinds and their fawns from all their enemies. Like two boxers getting ready to fight, the stags prepare themselves for battle. There's one battle sign. The sun gets high in the sky. And the other stag shows that he too is ready for battle. And now you can see what those antlers are used for. The other deer watch to see who will win. Fight is over. Here's the winner. Now the stag can rest. He 
is the leader of the herd. There are three fallow deer. They're smaller than the red deer, and they keep their spots even when they're grown up. Now see how fast they can run. And just look at that jump. Running and jumping help the deer to keep out of danger. Remember, fallow deer keep their spots. The roe deer is even smaller than the fallow deer. Look at his tiny antlers. These two are females, so they have no antlers. But the roe buck, that's the male, has two little antlers.